If you want to work in the same project in a group with other users and your workmate, you have to make a workgroup file. The workgroup file should have to be saved in the folder which is in the access of other user in the local network. If you didn't make such a folder, I can show you the sample. I can make the sample in this computer, which we call it server. Create a new folder with any name you like. Push the right click to choose the properties. Then share tab. Click the share. Be sure that everyone is in the list, which allow every user to read and write through this folder. Click the share button. Now this folder is in the access of other user in the local network. You can see its network path in here. If you wish to access this folder from the network, choose the computer's network icon with the path of the computer, which share that folder. So we turn back to the 3D cutter. Click the preference. Open the workgroup management. By default, a local workgroup has been configured before. But we want to make this file to be accessible for all the user on the network. We make a new workgroup in the folder which we shared before. You have to access from the network path. You can see the server PC in here. If you click on sharing folder, you can create workgroup in here. As you can see, we set the workgroup address from the network path. And if it is set from the network, other computers can access to the workgroup. If we look at the share folder, we can see the workgroup file with a name which we made before. This file has some info about the user and projects, so it should never be deleted or modified. Because all the workgroup info is saved in this file, we don't need to make a new workgroup. And this single workgroup is enough for all the user and project's data. The user who made the workgroup file, a sample in here is Mehdi, will be administrator of 3D Cutter. It means that if we click the preference to open the user management, we can see the Mehdi's name in the list of user as the administrator. The administrator user have an access to all the parts of 3D Cutter. If a new user wants to access to the 3D Cutter, should be added to this list to have the permissions. I will talk more about the user management in the future. As you see in here, we haven't created any project. So the next step is creating the first project. Click the preference. This time, choose the project management. Project management is used for creating and managing the project. Like the workgroup, which is the place that other user have the access with, projects should have this access as well. Click the create project button. The path which we choose is in the shared folder. And it's not important that the project file and the workgroup file is in the same folder or not. In this sample, we put the project file and the workgroup file in the same folder. If we look at the shared folder again, you can see a file and folder which we created with the name of the project which we create. We should never delete or modify these two files. Protecting the file which we create for 3D cutout is so important. Well, if we click in the project's name, we can set a lots of setting on that. For example, we can load a thumbnail for it. 
I will talk about the other project setting in the project management video tutorial. Now our project is ready. If we click on the set project, we can see that my project is accessible for us and we can work on. In the process of accessing the other users to the 3D cutted project, for example the animator 01, first of all we should check if we could see the folder which we share from the server. You should remember if you want to use this folder, our user should have the Windows permission to read and write in this folder. Being sure about the Windows permission, now we can connect it to the workgroup. So we click on preference. Because our user, the animator01, is not the administrator, have not access to all the setting up to read the Click on workgroup management. By default, a local workgroup has been configured before. This time, instead of clicking on create a workgroup, we want to connect to the created workgroup. From the network path, choose the folder which we shared, then choose the workgroup file. Now this user is connected to the workgroup which we made in the server. And if we click on set project, we can see the project which we made before. But this project is inactive for this user because of the administrator permission. So we turn back to the Mehdi user, which is our administrator. If we enter user management with the use of our administrator, which is defined in 3D cutout, we can see the animator 01, which is added in our list. If we want to allow the animator 01 to access the My Project, we have to check Project Access checkbox. Now, if we set project with the use of animator 01, We can see that my project is accessible for us and we can work on. So if any user want to access 3D cutout, should have the administrator permission.